So this antigen present index cell not just present the antigen, they also do the uh, most important function of activating the masker. So these antigen presenting cells are as you all know macrophages, Langerhans, dendritic cells. Of these three, dendritic cells are the most professional ones. And then anything that we like to add to this category, surprisingly, the B lymphocytes come to this category. So only T lymphocytes, that the helper T cells are the masters. For B lymphocytes, they don't need any role of antigen presenting cells. So with virtue of war, they take up the antigen. So coming to the antigen presenting cells, by with presence of war, they identify the antigen. Of course, there should be some set of receptors. What receptors? They are becoming very popular now, like in one of the high yield areas. <coughs> it's all like receptors. Uh, again, the family is really expanding and they are saying different numbers, <coughs> each taking care of uh, some set, subset of organisms. The high yield area, the most common question is the tall like receptor for gram negative organisms, lipopolysaccharide of gram negative organisms. It is good, another. It is tall like receptor for. That's about the antigen presenting cells. Again, the B lymphocytes, do they have anything on the surface to identify the antigen process and presence? What do they have on the surface? They have on the surface. Good on the ALFO. So the uh, B lymphocytes have their surface immunoglobulins, which immunoglobulins are expressed on the naive B cells. Naive B cells in the sense the B cells that does not encode the, the antigen. It is not it activated. Even in that state, it will express two antigens on the surface. Which antigens? Which sorry, which antibodies? I'm sorry. Antibodies. It's IgM and IgD. So IgM and IgD are present on the surface of B lymphocytes, both of which can act as uh, surface receptors for the B lymphocytes to identify and process the antigens. Dendritic cells, you can note this point, most efficient antigen presenting cell. That's the uh, surface of the T cell with the T cell receptor complex. Accessory molecules, the CD4, CD8 do nothing for the antigen presentation processing identification and all. They just serve as the uh, lineage marker. Which cells will express CD4 and CD8? Good, Rishi. IgM and IgD. So, which cells will express uh, CD4 and CD8? No cell should express CD4 and CD8 together. They are mutually exclusive. No cell should express both the antibodies. Now, coming to the uh, important step in immune response. So we discussed this antigen selective process presented with the helmet C to the T cells, which will be taken uh, accepting antigen via the T cell receptor, right? So this is what is called as signal one. This is not enough for the immune response. So this will be followed by signal two. <coughs> like in this question being asked in the last three years in different exams. So what is it? So, uh, signal two? It is the engagement of core receptors. So that is set of other receptors in surface of both the APCs and T cells which has to engage, which has to come together for the delivery of second signals for the immune response. So it's CD8 present on the surface of APC, C28 present on the surface of T lymphocytes. These are called as core receptors or core stimulatory molecules. <coughs> okay. So this is signal 2. Again, do you think it's enough for the immune response? No. So we discussed something called as activation of T lymphocytes by the antigen presenting cells. With what they activate? They do it with the help of cytokines. So that again, the delivery of, I mean, secretion of cytokines and activation of T lymphocytes is the third signal. So we need to have three signals. This has been added in the last recent edition. These three signals are must for the mounting of a proper effective immune response. So, which cells process and present antigens for B lymphocytes? They can take up by themselves. So, they don't need a presence of antigen presenting cells. If they present it, they'll, they'll be happy, they'll take it up. If not, they'll handle their own antigens by themselves. So, you can see B lymphocytes having a surface IgM. So, what is the CD21 molecule? What is this also called as? The CD21 is also called as? <coughs> complement receptor 3. So this is a receptor for 
EBV. That's why Epstein Barr virus preferentially affects B lymphocytes, resulting in B cell lymphoma and all the other things. Okay. So again, that's one I yield question over here. And antigen presenting cells are coming back to our question. So is this Langerhans cell antigen presenting cell? Yes. Macrophage? Always. Cytotoxic T cells? No. They are the masters. Helper T cells? No. B lymphocyte? Yes. Good, Rishi. Okay, so which of the following surface lycoproteins is not expressed in T cells? In a high yield area, a very volatile area, the CD markers. Children usually find it very difficult. <coughs> okay, CD markers. So, what are the CD markers? There are some markers present on the surface of these cells. Not just these cells, in quite a lot of cells they express. Okay. So, what is their applied aspect? How do we I mean, what do we, how do we use it? They tell us a lineage. Some markers will tell us a lineage. If such, such marker is there, it is big belongs to mylar lineage. If some markers are there, they belong to the yield furniture. And the other, the other applied aspect is the differentiation. Some markers are immature stage curve markers. Some markers will be actually mature stage. So they will tell us the stage of differentiation and the lineage. These two are concluded, derived out of this CD markers. So this, I mean, for just for example, the stem cell. What is the stem cell marker? Um, must know stuff. CD34. Where does it come across CD34 positivity? Again, lot of stuff. But one common area is mast cell. So mast cells will also express CD34. Good on a graph. <coughs> okay. So stem cell. So when it becomes mature. Stem cells, I mean, they differentiate, they lose the CD34 positivity. They start expressing some other lineage markers. Like you can see, what is the CD45? CLA, common leukocyte antigen. Sense. Every WBC, <coughs> every WBC will express Every WBC will express CD45. We just see this leukocyte, nothing else it conveys. And then this CD14, 15, 13 and all markers of monocyte lineage. Sorry, CD13 and 14 are markers of monocyte lineage. 13, 14, 33 and all. Like that, they have their own surface markings. Okay, so some will discuss this. Okay, there are some T cell markers, primary T cell markers, a lot. But I just wanted to stress it, one of the important ones. What is a pan T cell marker? In a sense, some T cells will express CD4, some T cells will express CD8. So, what markers expressed by any lymphocyte for that matter? Any T lymphocyte for the matter? Good, it's CD3. So, CD3, CD4, CD5, CD8. Just remember these as T lymphocyte markers. And then, what are B lymphocyte markers? What is a pan B lymphocyte marker? We need good. What is a pan B lymphocyte marker? Good, 19, good. CD19 is a pan lymphocyte marker. Apart from this, we have all these things. CD19, 20, 21, CD17 and A, of course, 17 and B has also been added. <coughs> these are pan B lymphocyte markers. And what about this CD10? This is not actually a primary, um, it, it says B cell, it says it cell is a B cell, but it's not present on every B cell we come across. Where will you come across CD10 positive? What it is also called as? It is called as Kala. C-A-L-L-A. Very good, Kala. So where do you have expression of Kala? The pneumonicus, in a sense, uh, in, in, in infomas. So where do you have expression of Kala? The pneumonicus. My best friend, all or my best friends. Grammatically, this, this sounds wrong. It's okay. It will help us remember. All or my best friends. All for ALL. My M for mantle cell lymphoma. B for Burkitt lymphoma. F for friends. F for follicular lymphoma. So all these lymphomas might express this CD10. It doesn't mean all these lymphomas will express CD10. And we might expect a CD10. And what is the significance for everything? You should only prognostic significance, prognostic aspect. So, what do you, if a mantle cell lymphoma expresses CD10, what is its and what is its inference? Inference, the patient is going to have a better prognosis. <coughs>